them showing you how you can get bat mod so to get it you want to head over to their official website which is going to be linked down in the description below together actually with my discord server and i'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that anyways on their website you simply want to click on this download button over here and then click on this blue download button and once you've done that the download will automatically start so now as you can see in my downloads i have the bat mod installer and to use this you need a the Java platform which is made by Oracle. If you've ever modded Minecraft before or used something like Forge or Fabric, you will already have this. If you don't have it or you're not sure, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, to open this up, simply double click on it. If that doesn't work, however, you want to right click on it, go to open with, and then select the Java platform, which is the same one I just told you you needed. Anyways, once you have done that, as you can see, the installer is going to open up right here. We can click on next, then agree to the terms of service, and then click on install. That'll start the install, install process, which as you can see, happens incredibly fast. And once that's done installing, we can click on done, just like so. Now, because this is just the installer, you can delete this if you wish to do so, and we can start up the Minecraft launcher. Inside of the Minecraft launcher, you want to make sure that in the versions tab, you have bat mod selected and then you can simply click on play after, of course, understanding the risks of playing modded Minecraft. Upon loading in up Minecraft, you'll be met with one of many different animated pixel uh, backgrounds, which I absolutely love. Anyways, over here, you'll see the normal multiplayer, single player options. And the bat mod options, which can actually also be accessed from the pause menu in game. But we can go into here for right now. And as you can see, there is a bunch of different options that this client has. Now you can sort all of these in different categories. As you can see, there is the HD category, gameplay, graphics, interface, animations, and then cosmetics. So for all of the modules, you can simply enable them by clicking on them just like this. And then in the customization menu that pops up on the side, you can enable them just like so. And then disable them once again by just clicking on that. On this eye over here, it'll give you the description of what the utility does. And then depending on the utility that you choose, there's going to be some customization options over here. As you can see, they all have different customizations. Now for the HUD category, these are generally going to be things that show up on your screen and add to your heads up display. In vanilla Minecraft, your heads up display is going to be your hunger, your health, stuff like that. And you can basically add to that. For example, I can choose to display my ping on the screen. Once again, if you're not sure what it does, you can hover above the eye over there. And let's say I also want to display my coordinates on the screen. And then maybe I don't want to show the biome or the vertical mode, but I do want to show the axis as well as the direction. And I'll add the time as well, because why not? And then I'll set that to my system settings so that I know that the time is displayed correctly. And I'll enable settings. For example, right, you can do whatever you want. Anyways, now that I have stuff on my screen, I can go over to the edit HUD area. And as you can see, I'll get all the things that I enabled. So my ping, which currently I'm not in a server, so I don't really have ping, the time as well as my coordinates. Now, by clicking on these, you can adjust their scale. As you can see, you can turn them off, get descriptions, as well as customize them, as you can see, just like that. And you can also move them around. So basically, this Minecraft picture or screen scene. So basically, this Minecraft scene over here is your screen and you can move these to wherever you want so maybe i want the ping down here or maybe i want the ping up here and then i'll put the time right down in this bottom actually no that's going to be obstructed by the chat so i'll put it over here and then i can put my coordinates right over here for example right and of course you can change all of that as you can see fully customize it however you want maybe i want my ping actually up there who cares? You can change this in game as well, which we'll take a look at in a second. Anyways, I'm done for right now, so I can just click on done, just like that, and I'll be brought back here.
Now there are other types of utilities as well. There is gameplay utilities which will adjust your gameplay as you can see there's for example better sprinting toggle sneak these are not things that are going to show up on your screen but instead enhance your gameplay then there's the graphics options which are just going to allow you to customize your graphics a little more the interface options that you can enable to customize minecraft's default animations anyways it should all be pretty self-explanatory, but I will right now enter a world and show you how to use this in-game. So as you can see here in-game, I have the uh, GUI or HUD options on my screen right now. If I go into the pause menu over here, all these buttons are going to be nice and clean. Nobody's going to complain about that, right? I can go into the bat mod options and then I will find the exact same menu I saw earlier. Here I can click on edit, edit HUD once again and move these around maybe i decided that this one i actually want to move a little more down just like that and now they're overlapping which i definitely don't like but just as an example right you can also open these as i just did with the right shift button use the right shift button on your keyboard and it'll open up this menu right over here so anyways for right now uh that was basically that Using the rest of this should be pretty self-explanatory. If you do have any questions, of course, or stuff like that, then do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.